Hey, my name is Kevin and I'm the Helpful Hero, here to help you leverage the awesome power that is HubSpot. Now in today's video, I wanna break down a quick overview on what's included in Clean Pro version 93, show you a few goodies and improvements that I've made based on your feedback, as well as share a cool new resource that I'm excited to launch today to help you build out your very own website or websites for your clients. Now before we jump in, I'm sure you can see that it looks a little bit different. My background looks a little bit different from my normal home studio, and that's because uh, last week I ended up moving into a co-working space. I had been working from home for a little over six years, and it was wearing thin to say the least. So. I'm in a new space, I've been excited to dial it in. It will continue to get a little bit better, but hey, not too bad for being here for a week's time. Now let's go ahead and jump in. I'll show you a few goodies as well as sh <laughs> share a few fun facts that you might not know about me to keep this demo, that you wanna call it that, a little bit more exciting. So let's go ahead and pop straight in and um, we can talk a little bit about this. The first thing that um, I included in this update based on some feedback was the ability to actually utilize two or multiple FlexiTab um, modules, which is becoming very popular in the Clean Pro theme. So if you wanna create multiple section with this tab structure, now you can. Uh, along with that, here's some fun facts about me. First, my favorite comedy, which I can literally watch over and over and over again, has got to be Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> I don't know, it's just it's just my kind of humor. It's so stupid and silly, but I can't get enough, and I wish I could do that dance. Um, speaking of dancing, uh, I actually used to be a club DJ for about 12 years, and let me tell you, there is absolutely nothing like getting paid to play your favorite music for your friends who are dancing. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Best times of my life. Um, along with that, one of my guilty pleasures, I'm not a big fast food guy, but let me tell you, if I have any fast food and I drive by an In-N-Out, I'm stopping. I'm getting a double-double, I might even get two. <laughs> it's one of those guilty pleasures that just, if you haven't had it, you might not know, but if you're ever in California or any place and see In-N-Out, I'm a little biased, but you gotta grab one. Uh, along with that, um, in a parallel universe, I swear there is an alternate version of myself that owns and runs a coffee shop. It has been one of those things that I've romanticized about doing in my life at some at some time. Strange for a tech dude wants to open a coffee shop, but at any rate, I digress. There are some fun facts. Let's keep moving. Uh, the next improvement is to the video gallery module. Now, one of the common requests that I got was wanting to be able to center any of the videos that show up, especially if you have a scenario like this where you have maybe one, two, or even three down on, on a row, leaving an empty space. Well, now you're gonna be able to just click in and center that, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Another uh, popular request is being able to actually change the position of this return to top little icon right down here in the global footer, which now you can do, and I'll quickly show you how to do that as well. So if we jump over here to the page editor, and we'll take a quick look at the video gallery module. Under the styles tab and a video card, now you have this little toggle where you can turn on center the video cards so that as we take a look at this, now they're centered. Likewise, if we go down to the global footer module and look under the start here menu as well, let's just open this up you'll see right where you can turn on or off the return to top icon, you now have the option to, to switch its position to the right or left, so that if you have, say, a chat widget or an accessibility icon or something like that, um, you can actually, there it is. Well, it's hidden by this chat. Well, hence why <laughs> you might want to be able to control the positions. So let's just get out of here. Now there's a handful of other improvements that I'm gonna list in the release notes, um, which is gonna be a link in the description if you're here on YouTube watching this video. I highly encourage you to look through that because there's a handful of other improvements which were, quite frankly, maybe a little bit more on the boring side or just quick fixes, but still very important for you to be aware of. Now let's go ahead and talk about a cool new resource which I have just launched and um, I'm very excited about that, and that is the brand new Happy Center. Now, I built this completely custom because I 
to be honest with you, wasn't 100% thrilled with HubSpot's knowledge base feature and I wanted to actually create a much more robust library for support content that I could add to consistently and at the same time, um, update a lot of my existing help content since HubSpot's changed a lot as well as Clean Pro over time. So now, just like um, you would, you can come in here, you can search as you would normally um, expect. I have you know, a range of you know, popular questions which I can flag in the database. By the way, I built this entirely with HubDB and I'm even considering productizing it. I'm not really sure yet. Um, it would be an add-on product um, outside of Clean Pro since HubDB modules cannot be included in Marketplace themes. There's another fun fact for you. But at any rate, um, so we have popular questions. There's gonna be a ton of um, you know, main categories that you can start to look through. Again, this is following suit with a lot of the ways in which I categorize my older or current help center. Um, additionally, you can go into more of the advanced filters. So if you wanted to say, find something about getting started, um, you can just come in here, click that. Um, you can easily search by tag. Um, these are all of you know some of the existing tags that I have set up. Um, or you can even see which of these tutorials actually include a video tutorial. And so there's gonna be a little flag up here so you can very easily get to the content that you need. So if you were to click into one of these, it's basically going to look like this. Well, that one's not a real entertaining one. Let's see if I can go into something like this. How to clear a thing. Hey, look at that. That's got a video and then it's got a lot of the um, steps. So one of the big initiatives that I'm doing is not only creating video content, which is helpful for some people, but also having um, helpful text and image content below so that you get the best of all worlds. On top of that, I'm adding all of that to Awesome AI so that if there is a question that you wanna dig in a little bit deeper, well, there you go, you got my Awesome AI there. I am doing my very best to be able to get you answers as quick as possible here within um, this new resource center. But of course, you can always, if you can't find something there, um, reach out to me so I can get you unblocked and moving forward as fast as humanly possible. And that's what I got for you in this update. Um, I'm working hard this year to make clean even better and better and better. Um, again, very much based on your feedback. So keep it coming. I appreciate you and thank you so much for your continued supports. With that, I'm out and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.